those are the things I normally cut out of the front of my videos, like take a breath, get ready, Woo, breathe. What's up, internet? This week's video is gonna be a little bit more serious uh, because there's just something that's been going on for a while, for a long while, uh, but I think it's really important that we talk about it. And that is the way autism is represented in the media, books, TV shows, um, movies, commercials even, uh, and it needs to change. A lot of the narrative comes about autism is not even coming from autistic people. A lot of the narrative actually comes from parents of autistic people, uh, doctors and medical professionals talking about autism, and so the language is typically very pathological and uh, autism is portrayed uh, often as a tragedy, uh, that aut autism will uh, strain marriages and break up families and things like that. For example, uh, the Netflix show A Typical, uh, mother's life is so hard because of her autistic son at home that she goes out and cheats on her husband with the bartender, which is just take responsibility for your own actions, people. You can't blame your kids for that. You know, when, when parents get a divorce, you're, you're told to remind the children that it's not their fault that their parents are divorcing because we know that, you know, kids can't handle that kind of pressure being put on them, you know, being blamed uh, for the suffering of other people and their parents. It's just not good for their mental health. I, it's not, it shouldn't be any different, you know, with blaming autistic children for making their parents' lives hard. Um, it's not okay, uh, you know, and autism, it's not a tragedy, and it, it's a difference. It's frustrating, I don't even know. You know, there's just real damage that can be done uh, by well-meaning parents who are just determined to fix, uh, cure, get rid of their children's autism. And aut being autistic is not something that you can cure. It's not something that you can get rid of. It's your entire perspective. It in it's interwoven into the way you think, the way you act. It if you remove if you could, because you can't, if you could remove someone's autism from them, they would effectively be a completely different person. So basically, you know, these parents are trying to erase their children because they aren't living up to the expectations that they're, they had of them. And they're telling their children that the way they are isn't good enough. And that's just, it's just really damaging. Um, you know, treating kids like they are broken and like they are defective and like they are not good enough is not good for their self-esteem. And when people's self-esteem is low, it's hard for them to achieve and do good in the world because they've just been beaten down. Um, and the narrative and the stigma and the way we talk about autism is beating down these children. And it needs to stop uh, because, I mean, otherwise what future can any of us have? Uh, anyway guys, that's my really serious video this week. Um, you know, I'd love to know what you think, uh, but th this is something we really need to tackle. We can't ignore this. We have to, you know, stand up against this and say, you know, this is wrong. This isn't how it is. We can't just sit around and let this continue. Uh, anyway, guys, I will talk to you next week. Thank you. Bye.